good morning <clears throat> happy happy new year <laughs> as you well, might be able to tell <laughs> Argo and I are over here on the Ontario side the Ontario Sault Ste. Marie spent the uh, New Year's ranging in with my girlfriend fortunately she had to go to work so <laughs> feel bad for her oh. Uh, she does get five days off um, after this. It's just a really busy time for her her job right now. So, but uh, I figured I just would show a little bit of what it's like over here. Look at that snow. Look at that. You can see where they shoved it off the roof into that big pile. <laughs> wow. Some of the roads I see they've cleared the snow off the edges and some a lot like this they haven't it's a big job though there's a lot of snow <laughs> so much snow <laughs> even after it warmed up and rained there's still so much snow you hear Argo panting I don't know why he's panting not like it's super warm thankfully there's not much in the way of traffic so I can kind of dawdle here you can see the bridge I don't know if you can see how it's lit up the lights are on the red white and blue lights you can kind of see it there we go I heard a ship salute a little bit ago so there must have been someone oh look at that not seen that before that like pillar coming out of the steel plant there it almost looks like a blue flame but it's probably just steam or something and then the lights but wow that's that's interesting huh okay that's a new one <laughs> It looks spooky. It really does. <laughs> so this will be kind of a shorter video. Um, I'm going to head back over the the bridge here. It is. It's 8 a.m. right now. So it's kind of early. Um, although it's later than when I'm normally walking Argo in the morning on my morning videos. So um, New Year's was pretty quiet. Of course we. <laughs> I didn't make it to midnight, which isn't a surprise. Um, where I moved from in Oregon on New Year's, there'd be a, quite a bit of uh, fireworks and gunfire. Always hoping people are shooting those into the ground, not into the air. Um, uh, last night, I did hear some fireworks, but didn't really hear any gunshots. So I was wondering if we'd be able to hear it. I didn't really expect gunfire here in Canada but I just was wondering if we'd hear it from Michigan over here um, if it happened I didn't notice it <laughs> I did hear some stuff it sounded just like fireworks so. So, yeah, we had a nice dinner um, we both had gotten <clears throat> gift certificates sorry <clears throat> there we go clear my throat so we um, Went and had a nice dinner, and then she got a uh, gift certificate for LCBO. So we got a little bottle of something and just kind of had a chill, chill evening. You know, it was nice. <laughs> I'm way past the age where I need to go and like <laughs> party all night and, and get super intoxicated or anything like that. So. Definitely past that age. I always like, if you see that sign, every time I come through here, it's so bright and fast. I always wonder if it's actually legal to have right here. It'd be distracting. No. This, oh, I should have turned there, but this here, just FYI, to my left is the casino here in Ontario. A gateway casino and there is a 
don't know if they've set it up yet, but there's an ice skating rink. It's right here. Yeah, doesn't look like it's set up though. So, so far the only ice skating rink that I know of is over here at um, where the old paper mill was. In fact, I'll just drive over there really quick. Oh, yeah, switch lanes because I was going to go back over. Now I gotta... Okay. It's, it's interesting how quickly, I guess not quickly, I've been here eight months, but you kind of learn your way around places, you know? It's kind of interesting. So right over here, this is the old, uh, this is the, the middle area, I guess you'd call it. There's a hydroelectric plant right there. Uh, and all these buildings are part of the old paper mill. And Argo is really panting. Hey dog. <laughs> Jeez. It's not hot in here, so I don't know. But here is... Uh, the only ice skating rink that's active right now that I know of. I'm not saying there isn't more, that's just the only one that I know of. And this one's actually been, they've been using it for a while. Um, okay, I take that back. Probably the one in the in the um, stadium there in the, the Coliseum is probably active or in use. There we go. But yeah, they've been using this one for a little while. Probably a month. Yeah. We came over here, there was a little event in this building. It was like I think the first weekend in December, something like that. And they were they were using it then. So I keep meaning to go to this uh the outfitters there. Actually, there's so many things I keep needing to do. Um, probably all of these shops I would like to go into. There's the train tours, which the Agawa, Agawa? Yeah, Agawa Canyon train tour. I always wanted to take that. That's here on the end. And there's a little outfitting shop with a little rock climbing wall in there. You know, it's one of those things, um, there's a little brewery there on the end. It's one of those things like, oh, I need to go in there. I need to go in there and it just doesn't happen. Um, this is where Outspoken Brewing is. We were at the, uh, the Whiskey Barrel, which is kind of a little Scottish pub type thing. They had uh, Outspoken Brewing there. It's quite good if you're into that kind of thing. I guess I'll about do it. it turned what was going to be just a quick little blip <laughs> turned into uh, way more of a video. It's, I don't know if you've been able to hear me over Argo's panting the whole time. I have no idea why he's panting so much. Just crazy. So I guess I might as well just keep recording. When you see signs like this. They're actually quite good about their signs, you know. Uh, so when I first got here and was learning the area, I was quite, quite glad to see signs like that. You know, just like, hey, how do I get back to the bridge? <laughs> and right here, International Bridge. It's always interesting, this sign here, explosives require escorts. Oh my, okay. <laughs> Don't have any explosives, thankfully. Like I said before, I've still never been to any of these duty-free shops. I'm not really sure 
the point of them. So, yeah, we'll record going over the bridge here. And I'll shut it off before I get to the border, the U.S. border crossing. I'm thinking of it. Get my passport out. <laughs> Definitely gonna need that. No, it is like a flame over there. Got the steel plant. Look at that. That's crazy. Now that's legitimately a fire. That is not steam. That's a blue flame. <clears throat> wow. Wow. Huh, okay. Never seen that before here. <laughs> There's one, or maybe it's that one. That has a lot of times it has like a, a normal yellow flame. Oh, we have a ship. I have no idea who this is. See them? Yeah, I have no clue which ship that is. Uh, I see some ice over there, kind of by uh, Sherman Point. Big Point, um, or Sherman Park, I mean, sorry. We're, uh, lovely little beach. <laughs> Maybe not this time of year, but it's a lovely little beach. A little speed check sign. Of course, that is in kilometers. <laughs> in fact, I would use that as an opportunity to change my speed back to miles per hour. Alright, well. There we go, a nice quiet, quiet morning in the Sioux, which you'd expect since it's New Year's. And uh, everyone, most people are either off work or uh, <laughs> sleeping off a hangover. <laughs> yeah, there you can see the ice. Right over there. that point there where the ice is, that's a big point, so Sherman Park is on the other side of that point there. There we go. So that's probably going to do it. I don't want to record coming down into the border crossing. Oh, there's a tug in the lock, leaving the lock right now. Man. So, anyway, Happy New Year <laughs> from Myself and Argo, panting, panting Argo back there. Hope you had a great one. And uh, I'm gonna call it quits for now. So have a great day. Stay warm, we're nice and warm right now. And uh, we'll see you next time.